From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is an OSU update. I'm Jenny Carlson. The last time the Cowboys met the Jayhawks, the Cowboys came out victorious. A huge win for them earlier this season in Stillwater. Tonight, they head to Lawrence to try to sweep the Jayhawks at Allen Fieldhouse. John Helsley joins us on the phone. And John, the Cowboys played fantastically the last time they played Kansas. Uh, obviously, we're later in the season now, and things have changed for the Cowboys. How does the outlook look different for this team heading into this Monday night game? You just said the words, sweep Kansas. How crazy <laughs> does that sound? Right, huh? right. Um, doesn't look all that likely, Jenny. I mean, this was going to be a tough game anyway. People, Good teams don't go into to Kansas and win. Great teams don't go into Kansas and win very often. Um, this is a, a wounded Oklahoma State team, obviously, will be without Jawan Evans again. He played fabulous in that first game. Um, you know, they're going to miss him. They already miss him. And so uh, really odd stacked against the Cowboys tonight. Yeah, and you know, I, it was interesting to me, John. I happened to be in Norman for uh, Kansas game down there on Saturday. And even in the aftermath of that big hyped game, Jayhawks were mentioning a game against Oklahoma State coming up, the quick turn, and oh, by the way, they were obviously very aware of that loss in Stillwater. Um, I mean, if you're the Cowboys, you don't lose so that they're not thinking about it. But obviously the Jayhawks are mindful of what happened this last time too. No doubt about it, and you've got to think that that'll be something that uh, that Bill Self uses, sort of to make sure that his guys are up and ready to go. You know, they didn't play well in uh, Stillwater and were really beaten badly. Uh, I mean, it was it was an uncharacteristic game for the Jayhawks. So um, it, I'm sure that'll be an issue tonight. Um, you know, the the Cowboys were talking about that as well on Saturday after they beat Kansas State. Hey. Um, Kansas knows what we did here. They'll be ready. Uh, so, so the Cowboys should fully expect uh, to get uh, a pretty good game out of the Jayhawks tonight. You know, John, as you chronicled in the Monday uh, newspaper and on NewsOK.com, Cowboys have obviously been through a lot. And then for that game Saturday to get forced to overtime to win, uh, even though this team, the win-loss record isn't where anybody would want it to be, You've got to like the way that they've hung in there because they have gone through a lot this year. There's something to be said for that, right? It's been impressive. It really has. You know, they lose Phil Forte in the third game of the season. He's the one returning starter, uh, leading scorer, um, doesn't return. Then they sort of find a new star, a new guy to hitch hitch the wagon to and Juwan Evans and, uh, you know, really kind of the bright spot of this season. Now he's gone and, and more than likely not going to play again this season. So a lot of real hits to the team, um, but they have hung in there. Even in these games they've lost, they've been in there at the end. Um, you know, had a had a had not a very pretty game on Saturday with Kansas State, yet they find a way, they get the overtime, and they win it in overtime. And, you know, the, you could tell the guys really enjoyed that and, and felt some, some satisfaction in, hey, we have worked hard, we haven't given in. And, uh, and sometimes you need to do that. Good things can happen. Yep. And uh, tonight they'll need all of that positive momentum and energy as they head up to Kansas. Again, that's an 8 o'clock tip. ESPN, a big Monday game. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.